indoor motocross. There he is, Mike Healy of the United States on bike number 11. You can see what sort of circuit they've constructed here at the Ahoy. Looks like a velodrome. Well, that's what it is. It's been turned into a cycling circuit for this event. But this is something special. Because in a moment, you'll see just where the organizers take the bikes. And there's a big pile up there. John van der Berg, that was, in fact, hitting his own teammate. Well, they're looking for a good result, but they won't get one like that. 6,000 spectators here in the Ahoy, and this is as close as they get to the racing. Look at that, incredibly. They take them up the stairs here and through the stands, round the back and down again onto the velodrome. Huge jump from Mike Keeley, we told you earlier in the programme. That's what he's famous for here in Europe indoors. And somebody getting it all wrong there as they hit the uh, obstacle on the jump. Jo Martins from Belgium will get a look at it once again here in slow motion. There it is, thinks there's trouble ahead, tries to avoid the jump and goes down in a bad way. And I'm afraid he needed 14 stitches in an arm wound for that spill. Well, the red flag comes out, not surprisingly, the race is stopped because of the injury to Martins. And we're going to have a restart here. That's Healy once again in the middle of your screen. And uh, he was being warned there for uh, taking a double jump in the first lap. And you're not supposed to do that. Well, a full start there by number three, but they're allowed to get away with it. Healy is currently in second place. And that's where he took the double jump last time out. And uh, that really is risking a broken neck if you get that wrong. And we really do have one almighty pile up here in the Ahoy. And that's allowed Healy to get away. He's in the lead. There's one of his huge spectacular jumps as they dive through the gap in the velodrome. Out of the circuit, back up those steps. And the red flag has come out once again. And you can see the marshals are waving them to a halt because we've still got that tangle back in turn number three at the hairpin. Johnny van der Berg, a famous name in Dutch motocross. Healy gives us a thumbs up, and it's third time lucky. They're off again in the final, and it's Mike Healy once again who's quickest away. Now, can they all stay upright this time? Everybody gets away okay, yes, do they? That's where we had the problems last time. And it's more like the Dodgems at that point in the circuit, and I almost think the organisers have got that part of the course completely wrong, really. It's crazy to try and get 30, 40 bikes through there, especially in lap one where they're all still tightly bunched. Now, here we are outside the stadium, in fact, and <laughs> somebody's gone off into the padding. No damage done. They go outside the circuit here and underneath the spectators' areas. And as you know, as you've seen, they come diving back in and race up those ramps and right amongst the spectators themselves. It's quite unique in motorsport, as far as I can remember. And the Dutch fans here in the Ahoy absolutely reveling in it as Mike Keeley goes through to lap a tail ender. That's the section that takes them up through the crowd there, behind the press tribune and back down onto the velodrome. Now, Healy with such a big lead is beginning to show off with some of those special drums. As one of the competitors, number five, who's damaged his hand, gives a signal to the drivers that he's cruising back into the pits. An onboard camera as well, would you believe? Our Dutch colleagues have thought of everything here to bring you all the excitement of the Ahoy International. You can see the tight turns there through that scaffolding, and I wouldn't like to get that wrong. And many drivers have uh, found themselves with broken shoulder blades by getting things like that on the wrong line. Here are the riders at the top of the spectators area, down again onto the velodrome. And you can see the rubber being put down there, but it's still pretty slippery.
The crowd's on its feet. Mike Healy with those jumps clearing 40, 50 metres. This is the fight for third place we're looking at. No doubt about the champion here. It's going to be Healy again. All the riders giving maximum entertainment to the 6,000 fans here in Rotterdam. And the uh, fans' attention focused on the battle for second and third place. Look at that, then another faller. That's Johnny van der Berg. Touch of the wall of death there from van der Berg. Trying to get inside number 14, and there was the contact, and van der Berg goes down. Still Mike Healy leads, and he's on the final lap. Van der Berg, he's hurt his hand from that spill and looks as if he's... Is he cruising in? I thought he was for a second. But he's out of it. The sound of these machines buzzing like a thousand hungry and angry hornets as Healy comes through. The checkered flag is coming out. The man behind Healy is not in direct competition, but that's where our camera is. I wonder if we'll get some shots of the leader as he comes through and the crowd rise to salute the Czech and flag, Mike Healy of the US. Second was bike number three, Sean Kalis, who led into the first turn before being passed. And he's the man who may have something to answer to for that full start. But what a tremendous spectacle this has been inside the Ahoy at Rotterdam. Mike Healy wins, Sean Kalos 1-2 uh, for the US. Visser is third, another Dutchman, Sundorf is fourth. And Peter Kovar, the young Czech, comes in in fifth place.